Now, once we have finished checking the tin in 3D, we're gonna minimize my 3D view, maximize my plan view. I'm gonna turn off my tin solid and flow arrows. And now I'm ready to create a boundary around the outside of this tin. So after we've done all the hard work nulling and we've checked the tin, we wanna create a boundary before we do anything else. And the easiest way to create a boundary around an, an existing tin is to go to tins, boundary, and select the tin we wish to create the boundary around. It's our tin survey. The model, I simply copy the tin name, paste that in there, and I'll call it tin space survey. So it's got the same name as the tin, but I put a post fix on the end of it called BDY. So I know it's the boundary and it's in its own model. And because their name pretty much similar, they'd be grouped together in the model list. So it's very handy. When we create the boundary around the outside of the tin, it's gonna be a super string. So I'll leave that ticked on. I do not want it to have a solid fill. So I don't tick that on, leave that blank. Boundaries draped, leave that ticked on. So what that does is it takes the height of your tin. So it creates a super string around the outside of this tin and has the height of the tin on the super string, which is what we want. Boundary color, I'm gonna leave cyan. And attached to the tin, I'm gonna leave that turned off because I don't want it attached to the tin because it's in its own model. And sometimes I might not want that boundary displayed. So if it's attached to the tin, it will always be to the tin. So if you turn the model on, the tin's on in, you're always gonna have that boundary polygon there. So you won't be able to turn it on and off where I can do that when it's in its own model. So if I go to create now and go to the plus button and turn on my tin survey boundary, and there we go. We have a nice cyan boundary around the outside of our tin. I'm gonna finish on this panel. And the reason we do this is because if I went back into tins, edit tin, and I select my survey tin, and I went through it, and you can see now all the models used in this view, which create this tin. But if I went to the nulling tab and got rid of the 40, and someone accidentally selected retriangulate, all those long triangles come back again. See, because when we null, the triangles aren't deleted forever. They're just turned off and not used. But if you happen to re-triangulate it accidentally, you lose all that nulling and you've got to go through and re-null it again. So this is why creating a boundary tin is really handy because now I can go to the null polygon and go click on that icon and click my boundary tin that we just created and accept and use that boundary string as a null polygon. So any triangles that are outside this boundary string will be deleted. And if I go re-triangulate, there we go, they're gone. So this is why creating a boundary for every tin you do is very handy and I recommend it.